Hi, I'm Valder Beebe. I'm the host and the visionary of the Valder Beebe show, God Talk. Some people talk to God and others believe that God talks to them. Join us in conversation with authors, religious clergy, metaphysicians, and regular people like you and I and God Talk. God Talk is a podcast available on FM Radio, Roku TV, and online. Subscribe at ValderBBShow.com. You can also subscribe at YouTube.com slash ValderBBShow. Join the conversation of God Talk. I'll see you there. Good day. I want to thank you. Hopefully you've enjoyed your day like I've enjoyed my day talking to all these incredible people. I've got one more for you. I've got Naz Ali Taha. She's head of Global Esports Partnership and Business Development. And she's here with some information on the esport about that billion-dollar industry. Naz, welcome to the Valder BB Show. Thank you so much for having me. I'm so excited to be here. Well, I want to have you on, if nothing else. My name, your name, they're having a hard time with it, let me tell you. Okay? So <laughs> I thought we'd be kidding. Well, you spirit. pronounced mine perfectly, so thank you for that. <laughs> Thanks for being here. Okay, t- first of all, before we get into the growing popularity of esports, one of my posters, because they listen to us on multiple platforms, they were asking me, what is esports? And sometimes we overlook the obvious. Could you tell us what that is? Well, esports is essentially competitive video gaming. Um, I, I think the easiest way to explain it is to compare it, you know, to a traditional sport. So um, let's take basketball. You know, basketball is the game for us. League of Legends is the game that I could play, that you could play, that all our friends could play. Um, and like basketball. League of Legends has a professional tier. So League of Legends esports represents that top echelon of professional uh, competitive gaming, meaning it's our version of the NBA, if that makes sense. So our um, professional esports athletes are competing in our um, esports leagues as their profession, the same way an NBA player you know, competes in the NBA as theirs. All right, then. Poster, I hopefully you enjoy that explanation. Okay, so it's a growing popularity for esports. Is it because we've been confined to our home because of the recent pandemic of what we're going through? Or what's the popularity? What's fueling that? Well, actually, esports has been growing in popularity for really the last decade. Um, esports has actually been around for many decades, but really in the last you know, 10 years, you've seen this evolution. You know, you've seen it transform from this very niche and nascent industry into a full-fledged sport with a global business and a global following around it. You know, League of Legends esports today is the world's largest esport. And, you know, we've had an incredible uh, trajectory this past decade. We've sold out iconic arenas, just like traditional sports do. You know, we've been at Staples Center. We've been at Madison Square Garden. Um, You know, you've seen star athletes rise out of our ecosystem. We broadcast our sport week in and week out to tens of millions of fans across every corner of the globe. And you've also seen us attract top tier, you know, really world-class sponsors. You know, our roster of sponsors, I think, you know, uh, you know, holds its ground and, and can be compared to what you see in any other traditional sports entertainment property. You know, um, we've okay. had partners like MasterCard and Mercedes-Benz come in. And, and actually, uh, most recently this week, we, we announced a partnership with Verizon, who's coming in as a sponsor for both League of Legends eSport, as well as our new eSport around our game called Valorant. Is that a validation that uh, this is right up there with the uh, baseball league, the basketball league, football league, with Verizon coming in like that? Absolutely. You know, we think that having these incredible partners like Verizon you know, it's it's a testament, I think, to the strength of the overall Riot esports ecosystem. And I think partners can see, you know, that 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 reach that we offer, and they also can see that future potential, you know, as this industry continues to to grow and, and evolve. Okay. I'm gonna take this one from where's this one coming from? This one's coming from Instagram. The poster wants to know. Can this be invested in like any other sports? Can they 
invest on the uh, stock market? Uh, we're not a publicly, the sport itself is not publicly traded on the stock market, but um, there's various kind of points of investment. So we see investment come in, you know, we just talked about some of our sponsors, of course, that's kind of at a at, at the global or, or league level. Um, but there's, you know, over 120 team organizations, professional team organizations that are competing. And, you know, those are all individual businesses as well that, that, that get investment. Um, and then you've seen an entire industry form around esports, entire businesses kind of form to um, service, you know, different aspects of esports. So um, it's very exciting to see, you know, all of the economic potential uh, around the industry as it as it continues to to, to grow. I'm very uh, impressed that someone's asking an investment question about esports. Uh, I think that's that's a really good indicator for you guys. So if we want to watch uh, eSports, how do we get, how do we get involved? Yeah, well, you can catch um, all the information about Riot Esports and see, you know, where and how to watch um, on our website. It's LOL Esports, L-O-L Esports.com. I want to thank you so very much. You have educated my audience in something new, and I love new all the time because I like them to say, you know, I heard that first on the Valder BB show. So thank you so very much, <laughs> Nas, for being here and talking about esports. Thank you so much. It was so great talking to you. Hi, I'm Valder BB. I host the Valder BB show broadcast on radio and television, and this is my phone pouch. My phone pouch is a great invention. It allows me to go hands-free, pocket-free, purse-free, even belt-free. Head on over to myphonepouch.com.